His experiment is RLC series circuit. We may say it is also acceptor circuit. So in this circuit, a resistor and inductor and a capacitor are connected in series combination uh, with an alternating voltage source. Here we can see a, a micro ammeter. So we can measure the current from this section and there is an other section as you can see. Uh, this is audio generator. So we change uh, the frequency by this knob. And also one thing you have to know that this is frequency range. We have selected this range to uh, 100 time. Uh, it means where every reading that we, uh, we uh, take from this uh, section, this scale, that would be multiplied by 100. Okay. So let's uh, move towards the performance. Experiment. First of all, we uh, power on this uh, audio generator as you can see. So we set the frequency say uh, it is on 10 Hertz and this 10 is actually multiplied by this 100. So our total frequency is 1000 Hertz. So now let's check the corresponding reading on the uh, uh, micro ammeter. So as you can see the uh, reading is on 25 ampere. After observation we move uh, this uh, needle from this knob and we um, uh, set it on uh, 11 hertz and it is not 11 actually we multiply it by 100 actually it is 1100. And now let's check the corresponding reading on the other micro ammeter. So as you can see it is on 30. Okay, now let's move towards the other observation. So let's uh, make an other observation. I move uh, this uh, knob and uh, uh, the, okay. So this knob is on uh, 12.5. It is actually 1200. Uh, 12.5 okay now let's check the corresponding observation on the other side it is on 35 micro ammeter okay next now let's move towards the next observation so we uh, make further observation I set this uh, on 13.5 and uh, let's check the corresponding reading from the micro ammeter. So as you can see this observation is uh, on 40. On 40. Now I set uh, this uh, uh, frequency on 15 hertz. Actually it is not 15 as, you, as I have told earlier. It, this 15 is multiplied by this frequency range I have set on 100. So we multiply this by 15, it is 1500. And now let, let's check the corresponding reading on micrometer. Uh, as you can see, the observation on the micrometer it is on exactly 50 microampere. In similar way, we repeat this uh, uh, process and make some uh, observation. This, uh, uh, frequency on 17.5 hertz and uh, uh, let's uh, note the corresponding reading as you can see the observation on the micro ammeter it is on 55 on 55 micro ampere so if we further increase uh, uh, we note a phenomena if we further increase this uh, uh, frequency and we will observe no change on the micro ammeter reading it is same on 55 and if we further increase uh, uh, this uh, uh, observation this uh, uh, frequency we can see there is no change in the uh, reading on the micro ammeter so if we further increase uh, you can see uh, the deflection will re reverse from the uh, micro ammeter. And see now we have set on exactly 20 at 20 and uh, we see the corresponding reading from the micro ammeter as you can see the uh, as you can see the observation it is exactly on 60 micro ampere. So as you can see now it is on 60 if we further increase this uh, observation uh, let's suppose I set it on 22 
So the the observation on the uh, reading it will be same. That is on 60 micro ampere. So if I further increase and bring it on 26, okay. So this is on 26. So now we will see the uh, deflection will decrease. It is on 55. Okay. Now we uh, further uh, decrease this, increase the frequency as we uh, going to increase the frequency in steps. Uh, now it is on 28 and we will observe the deflection in the ammeter it will decrease it is on 50 and we further increase we, let we move on this observation now it is on 32 and we note the corresponding observation on the uh, on the uh, ammeter it is nearly it is on 45 it is on 45 and uh, likewise we move these uh, the uh, likewise we uh, repeat this uh, experiment uh, this observation again and again uh, increase frequency in regular steps and uh, uh, note the uh, corresponding reading from the m micro ammeter we will observe first the at first we increase the frequency current is going to increase and uh, when we further increase uh, after a particular point uh, frequency uh, there is decrease in the current so we now plot the uh, this uh, uh, observation in observation from our experiment now let's move towards the table and graph